Hello everybody and welcome to my third Visual Basic in Excel tutorial. This tutorial I'm going to be following on from the range property to explain how the cells property works and also explaining how to do a few more things other than just selecting cells. So if I remove this, the cells property works very similarly to the range property except that instead of using A, B, C and D it uses the column reference number so A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4. Now this is quite simple to do when you are at the first view and you can just count them but once you get really far over and you start to get to like a Q then you might not know necessarily know what the column reference number is. So a quick way to solve that is just to go column and then just select the column. Just put equals column and then whichever column you want in the apprentices and then that'll show you what the column reference number is for that. Um deleted it by accident. Right. Uh, if you want you can just drag that across as well and it just shows you all of them if you're flicking back and forth all the time. But so whenever you reference using the sales property you need to make sure you're using a number rather than a letter go back into the editor and for F11 then we, we still need to select the workbook that we're in so again this, this workbook and sheets we want sheet 1 and we want cells and then again if we start off with just cell A1 that would be 1 comma 1 close parentheses dot select so if we run this then exactly the same thing as the range did selects that cell now with cells we generally only select one cell at a time but because we're using the column reference number this is a lot more useful when we come later on into loops and things like that and also it's a lot easier for copying over individual cells and things like that. So if I show you now how to assign a value to a cell. So instead of select we change this to value then this piece of code here represents the value of the cell. If we want to give this cell a value then we just put equals at the end of it and then say we want it to be 25. So if I run this now, Alt F8, run, and then 25 has appeared in the cell. If you want to get rid of anything in the cell, like if you want to get rid of the value of the cell and put it back to nothing, then just put two speech marks like that. And that will just, well, I'll show you what it does. By running it now and that just gets rid of the value in the cell there's nothing in there and what you can also do is you can instead of having that you can copy it again and instead of having cells 1 1 if we take cell 4 and then 1 2 3 3 say we change that to 4 and that to 3 so fourth row, third column rows on the left, columns on the right and then we've got this workbook dot sheets sheet 1 dot cells 1 1 dot value so that's saying the workbook we're in using sheet, but sheet 1 and then cell with row 1 and column 1 so if it was range it would be A1 
and then take the value of this and make it equal to the value of the cell that's in this workbook on sheet 1 and with cell reference 4 for the rows and 3 for the columns. Uh, when you use the equals it's taking this on the right and putting it into the left so it won't just it won't just it won't make this equal to that it will only take whatever's on the right and put it into the left one so if I run that now alt F8 okay if I click run then you notice that this has now become the same as that okay so now we've copied the value of a cell uh, what else do we want to do with it well I've shown you how to clear a cell and how to copy a cell but what if you want a cell to be equal to the value of say one cell plus another cell well that's pretty simple you can just have that and then just plus and then just put it again now I'm going to show you a handy little trick now which is if you press space underscore and enter then you can put this underscore means go to the next line to check the rest of the code and then if I again put underscore not plus underscore and then plus paste that in there then we want to add the value of say this one and this one so instead of 3 we want 4 for D and that one 5 right so this will do whatever's in cell 4 4 and add it to whatever is in cell 4 5 and then it will take this value and the equal sign will put it into the value of this cell so if we run this run and then there we go value 9 4 plus 5 equals 9 now in the next tutorial I'm going to be going into variables which will make this coding a little bit easier so uh, thanks for listening and I hope you carry on listening to my future tutorials